Alright, this is the last question on the Level 1 2015 paper, and it's it's a big one. There's lots and lots of words, lots of stuff to do, and the question's in three different parts. Let's have a read through. Frankie and Jesse want to get a mortgage. The bank uses this rule to calculate the maximum mortgage that they can get. You take the higher annual income, multiply it by 5, add the lower annual income, that is your maximum mortgage. Frankie has an annual income of £32,000. Jesse has an annual has an annual income of £29,500. Show that the maximum mortgage that they can get is £189,500. Alright, let's pause there. There's a lot of other stuff going on, but we've got the information we need and we've been asked the question. So, let's answer it. To work out the maximum mortgage, we follow the process. You take the higher annual income, multiply by 5, add the lower annual income. So, part A. Um, we take the higher annual income which we can see is Frankie has the higher income, which is £32,000. You then multiply it by 5. That's your step 1. Uh, I'm going to do this in, in different steps, actually. I'm going to do it in, just to break it down a little bit more. So, step 1, when you multiply the higher annual income by 5, you get this number, which is 160000 And then onto that, you add the lower annual income. The lower annual income is Jesse at £29,500, so I'm going to plus £29,500, and that's the answer I get, which is exactly the same as the one they say we should get, which is good, shows that we've done something right. I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit and put some pound signs in there. Alright, so the maximum mortgage they can get is exactly what it says it should be, so that we've got our three marks for that part. Now we can start looking at the rest of it. The house that they want to buy costs £230,000. They think the maximum mortgage they can get is more than 80% of the cost of the house. Are they correct? Let me just highlight some things, because sometimes it's hard to follow what numbers are which. They think the maximum mortgage they can get, let me just carefully underline that, the maximum mortgage they can get, which we've just found is the same as what they said it should be, that's the maximum mortgage, they think that this number is more than 80% of the cost of the house. And the cost of the house is up here, it's 230000 So if we find 80% of the cost of the house, they think that their mortgage is bigger than that. So let's work out 80% of the cost of the house. Um, there's different ways of finding 80%. I'm just going to do one of them. I'm not going to do all the different ways. I'm going to find 10% first, and then I'm going to times my 10% by 8, because I've got 8, lots of 10%, 80%. So, part B. Uh, take the cost of the house, 230,000, and I'm going to divide that by 10. Now, this answer that I get, this, I'm even going to label it, is 10%. Now I'm not looking for 10%, I'm looking for 80%, so I'm going to times my 10% by 8, because it's 8 times bigger. Okay, so copy that to the working out, lovely, and this is 80%. Alright, now let's come back to the question. They think the maximum mortgage that they can get, this number, is more than 80% of the cost of the house. This is 80% of the cost of the house. Is this number, their mortgage, bigger than 80% of the cost of the house? Yes, it is. 189,500 is bigger than 184,000. So are they correct? Yes, they are. Their mortgage is bigger than 80% of this number. Finally, show a check of your working. So part C. Uh, to do a check in this case, I'm going to pick something that I've done in here. And they're all fairly straightforward. They're all one step. You know, I've only done one thing on each line. Um, I've got to pick something I've done there and do it backwards. I'm going to choose uh, this thing, the first thing I did. So, like I said, I want to take something I've done and do it backwards, which means I'm starting with the answer uh, from up here, which was 160000. Oh, sorry, I put too many in there. 161234. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, good. So, I'm going to start with my answer. Now, when I was doing it forwards, I was doing a times in calculation. So when I'm doing it backwards, I'm going to do the opposite, and the opposite of a times is a divide. So I'm going to take my answer, I'm going to divide it by one of these two things. And whichever one I divide by, I should get the other one. But I'm going to follow it backwards, 
Uh, I'm going to do 160,000 divided by 5 and my answer, if I've done it right, should be this number which is why it's a check. Uh, if I've done something wrong then I won't get this number. So 160,000 divided by 5 should get this and do I? Yes I do, lovely. So I'm going to copy that to my working out box for part C and that's it, I've done my check. So let's quickly talk through, so part A what I did is I took the higher annual income, which was this number, multiplied it by 5 and added the lower one. I found the maximum mortgage and I know I got the answer right because they even told me what the answer should be. Uh, for part B, I had to work out what 80% of the cost of the house was and I did that by finding 10% first and timesing by 8, but there are different ways of course. Uh, for example, some people like to divide by 100 to find 1% and then times that by 80, which would be exactly the same answer. Um, I had to find 80% of the cost of the house and decide whether that was uh, bigger or smaller than the maximum mortgage that they said they could get. And finally I had to show a check of my working by doing a reverse calculation. And that's what you needed to do for 3, 4, 5, 6 marks.